What if Planet Nine is a primordial black hole? Our understanding of the planets in the solar system has changed over time. For more than 70 years, the general consensus was that there were nine orbiting the Sun. But then in 2006, when Pluto was demoted to dwarf planet, that number was revised to just eight. The search for Planet Nine is far from over though, and theories abound for what and where it could be. Perhaps this seemingly massive and definitely elusive object isn't actually a planet at all. This is Unveiled, and today we're answering the extraordinary question, what if Planet Nine is a primordial black hole? Yes. Uh, I read an article in, um, in the paper some months ago, and it was speaking about stuff they was trying to do in the near future, about like making uh, robots that look like humans. Human mm -hmm. And also they spoke about a, a spiritual computer. I was right. wondering, um, what's like, what would it do? You know, would it, like get information on spirituality, or can it do something to you? Or no, when they say a spiritual computer, what scientists, what they're doing right now is is real frightening, because they have learned that what they call matter is not the final stage, and what they call atomic energy is not the final stage. Now here's the deep part: that once they found out that an atom, an hydrogen atom, which they have claimed is the lightest sum of energy for the last hundred years. Once they found out that the atom wasn't the lightest and that there were quartz, and then after that Zids, always through school when they taught us about cell, they would always compare a cell to an atom. They would say, well, an atom has a nucleus and it has electrons and protons moving around it, just like the cells in the human body. So, if they became aware of the fact that hydrogen, which they thought was the lightest atom, is not. That there is invisible matter, matter that does not have a sum. By that I mean the word we use, something, really comes out S-U-M-T-H-I-N-G. The sum of the thing, how something, what it amounts to. So they say hydrogen is the lightest atom or the lightest thing in existence, once they found quartz, they have to alter all the scales and all the weights, be it metrics or whatever, because there's no weight for a quart. There's no substance for the quart. There's no density for the quart. So it is actually a spiritual thing that they have confirmed exists when for years they couldn't prove that the spiritual world exists. The acceptance of an element lighter than an atom is admitting that there is some existence intelligent that is not perceivable by any equipment that they have made to date. 